Okay, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be doing a review on the uh, Acoustic Solutions Mega Boom 360, um, which is the speaker I did an unboxing on not long ago. Um, I didn't really get to show you many of the lights or anything like that in that video. So today I'm going to be doing, I've had a couple of days to properly use it and see what the sound quality is like, see what it's like on a day-to-day -day basis, bit of the battery life, stuff like that. So I'm going to give you a bit of an insight into that and then obviously play you a song for it so you can hear it. Um, now for starters, this was £75 off Argos. I think it's exclusive to Argos at the moment. Um, but honestly, it's a very good, I was just to start with, it's a very good speaker. Um, especially for that money as well. I mean, I know you can probably get a JBL Flip 6 for 100 120-ish, but if you're already after that £25 saving, you're really not going to be upset with what you're getting here. Um, it is a bit weird. I don't know why it's so big. Um, it feels relatively light. Like It doesn't feel like there's actually a lot going on inside. Um, like it could, I mean, like it feels like it could be a lot smaller, but what is going on inside is actually very good for the price. You've got um, lights on either side with a uh, decent size uh, passive radiator, so the subs, um, the um, the bass from the speaker is actually surprisingly good. Obviously, it's only forward facing, it's not a 360 um, sound at all, which is weird because it is called a Mega Boom 360 or Mega Blast 360 or something or other. Um, but it's, it's evident when you start playing this, there's only sound coming from the front. If you turn the speaker this way, um, or even just straight on at the side, you don't hear as much. So I'm not really sure what the 360 name is there. That might be a bit misleading because it's definitely not 360 degree sound. Um, but um, it's got a nice, decent little strap here. Um, it is light, which is cool, I suppose, but it could just be feel like it could be smaller. Um, you've got a waterproof charging port here at the bottom for your power bank and for your charging. Um, and it connects through Bluetooth obviously very quickly, just like anything else does. Um, so realistically, um, I'm going to play a song now so you can hear what it sounds like. I'm going to do it forward facing and then I might move it around a little bit in the video. I'm not sure if it will come out well on camera, but just so you can see that it's not 360 degree sound. Broken along, I feel the rain crashing down. All around this empty town, we're searching for the lost and found. But you don't care, you're unaware. Keep moving like the scars aren't even there. It's in the air, like a blazing flare. obviously your sound test for that one you can see the the bass move the the radiator on top moves a lot and with the lights there it does actually look very good the lights don't do much bouncing to music or anything like that but they do they add a nice atmosphere and for the price point i really don't think that you can complain about this um i mean it's it's obviously hard to tell from the video but in this room you wouldn't need anything louder than that that was pretty much full volume but you wouldn't need anything louder than that uh, you wouldn't even necessarily want anything louder than that. The bass is perfect for a speaker of this size. It's not it's not outrageous, but it's not a lot of these sound a bit tinny, and it definitely doesn't. It's, uh, it honestly is a very good all-round speaker. Um, I find battery life on full volume or close to full volume, you get around five hours. Um, pushes up to like ten if you're at half volume, but um, so definitely not as good as others, which is maybe where it's lacking in weight. Maybe the battery is a bit smaller. Um, but realistically, for £75, I do recommend this speaker. I think it's a very good buy, and it's also a bit different. You know, everyone's got a JBL flip hanging around their neck. Um, but, yeah, so the, this will definitely get people asking, mm, what's that? Uh, which is quite it's quite, quite nice a lot of the time. The only, obviously, um, problem I would say is that they do advertise 360-degree sound, or the name suggests it. 
Um, I hope it came out in that video, but it 100% is not. So not really sure what they're doing there. But apart from that, I would recommend this speaker. So if you've got any more questions, pop them down in the comments and I'll try to get back to you.